Here's the 10 BP4 pitcher tube from my Philco 491040 that I've been working on the cabinet for. Back when I picked up this set, the only CRT tester I had was my B&K 440, which is a pretty crude device. Since then, I picked up the Suncor CR70, which is a really, really nice piece of equipment. So I thought I'd check the tube again. Well, just now I was online, and there's another collector who was shopping around for one of these and had a bunch of questions for me. So uh, I got to look at on eBay and I uh, searched for this model to see what was out there and what current prices were like and such. And uh, oh, they were ranging from like 100 to, to 600. Well, I got mine pretty cheap. I think it was 30 bucks or something like that because the seller told me that all the adapters were missing. I'd never seen or used one before and when I got it, opened it up, it just had this connector and the power cord so I figured oh I guess they are all missing. I cobbled together my own uh, adapter of sorts but since then I got lucky on eBay and got this adapter and one other. Well I was just looking at a listing and it showed that there's actually a secret compartment in the lid of this unit and that's where you store the adapters. So I decided to pop mine open and looky what I found. I have almost a complete set of adapters that came with this. So not only did I not need to buy these two because here's this one and here's this guy, but it turns out I actually got a really good deal when I bought this. The seller just had no idea that these were all lurking up here. So the only one I'm missing is this guy. But actually it turns out for TVs pre like 1955 or so, this is the only one you need the universal adapter. But I'm sure I will find uses for these as I work on more sets. So, <laughs> turns out that now I actually have a couple adapters that I can just turn on and sell on eBay myself. So, if anybody ever comes across one of these, <laughs> it's a little latch you flip up top under the lid and there's a compartment back here. Now let's hook this up and see how good this CRT really is. I recall it being okay, or just just in the good range with my with my BNK 440, uh, but that was over a year ago, and uh, I don't really remember too well. So I'm hoping this actually tests out even better with the CR70. If not, there's always a rejuvenate feature. I hooked up the adapter clips and turned the tester on. The filament's glowing nicely. I noticed that this is a Philco CRT, so it's probably the original. I also noticed it's a 10BP4A, which I don't think I've encountered before. What the A means is there's a gray frosting on the faceplate of it, as opposed to a 10BP4, like every other set I've got, that has a clear face. So once I'm done testing this, I'm going to tilt these two down and see if there's a visual difference between the two. I think they put the gray frosting on it to uh, cut down on glare. So, got the filament heated up now. No shorts. No shorts. Cutoff's working great. What that is, is you turn this knob and you want to adjust this to get in the black area. If the tube is really weak, you won't even be able to get it up there. It'll be down more like by zero. And then you check emission. Wow, this is a really, really good tube. Most of my 10 BP4s are like down more like 9 or 10. This is still climbing. I've only had this tube on for a couple minutes and it's been sitting around unused for over a year. Usually after CRTs are sitting around for a while, actually the longer they sit around for a while without being powered up, the longer they kind of take to come back to life. Some of these that uh, have been sitting around for decades, I, I left sit for a few hours to uh, get a more accurate reading. Now the last test is this life test. What they do is they cut the voltage on the filament, um, I think like 20%, 50%, something like that. And uh, while you hold that button down, then you check the emission. The idea being that a really good, strong tube, even with a reduced filament, will still pr uh, produce good emissions. So I'm going to press it right now. That's pretty good. Not great. 
it was a really good tube the needle would barely drop when I pushed it but I've certainly seen ones that uh, were a lot worse plus like I said I've only had this tube turned on for a few minutes what's really bad is when you push that button the needle rapidly drops and ends up in the red zone that means you might only have a few uh, months left on the tube as it is, if it drops down like it just did now, maybe six months, but uh, I hope when I leave this on for longer or try rejuvenating it, that I'll get more life out of it. Okay, let's I'm gonna put down the camera and tilt these two tubes down, and let's see if there's a visual difference between the two. Well, I don't see much difference. This is the A, and this is the regular. About the same to me. But maybe the difference is more noticeable when it's turned on. At any rate, the tube test really good, so I'm sure it'll work fine in the set. Here's the last thing I'm working on on the cabinet, which is that frame that goes around the screen. I'm just about done filling in all the patches and dings. And I've been doing some test spraying and I found a, a specialty metallic brass that I think will look pretty good remember that's going to go around just this inner frame and then the rest will be masked off and the rest will be painted a dark mahogany color so a little bit more patching, a little bit more sanding, let it dry a bit and then I'll start putting on the final finish I hooked the picture tube back up and let it sit for a couple of hours powered on so let's check that life test again Emissions back up at 12 like it was before. And I push the button down right now. Much better this time. Before it dropped fairly quickly to all the way down to 9. Now it's staying at about 11 and a half. So, this picture tube has got plenty of life left. Okay can't say it often enough when you're testing pitcher tubes especially ones that haven't been used in a long time do not jump to conclusions let it sit for a few hours even overnight maybe on your tester powered up and if it really does test weak or in the bad range only use the rejuvenate as a last resort you can typically only use it once in the life of a pitcher tube uh, worst case scenario you push this button you'll instantly burn out the, uh, the cathode and your tubes dead Unfortunately, you can't get picture tubes rebuilt either, so <laughs> if your tube is bad and rejuvenate doesn't help much, I would suggest for the time being to just hang on to it because the early television foundation in Ohio is working on setting up a picture tube rebuilding service. So hopefully, maybe sometime next year, the year after that, it will be possible to get these rebuilt again. For the time being, um, all my tubes actually, I'm, I'm kind of lucky, they all at least have some life left. But if I do encounter any that don't, or some of mine uh, stop working so good, I'm just going to hang on to them for now. Anyways, enough babbling. Uh, I'll get back to this Philco 491040 cabinet and pick up one uh, when it's done, hopefully.